call me at sometimes Seth, but mostly just rots, and you're listening to it, Seth Rots. Let's talk about anything and everything till we reach the end of our thinking capacity. For our pilot episode, I figured we should set the tone on what to expect in every episode of this podcast. This is kind of like a trailer, a really long trailer, that doesn't count as the main episode. I'm notorious for creating disclaimers and beating around the bush about everything, so I might as well. Fair warning. My sense of humor alternates between dark and dorky. If this is something that displeases you, then you need to look for another podcast to listen to. Because I cannot guarantee the lack of such awkward scenarios. Although, if I do go over the line, I appreciate keyboard warriors with a high sense of justice and proper etiquette. On the other hand, if you're highly sensitive, passionate about discovery, and appreciate all walks of life, welcome and thank you for your patronage. I actually created a random poll with uh, more or less than 10 people to vote on the upload frequency and duration. The majority voted for 30-minute podcasts twice a week, so I'm supporting the minority who voted for one-hour podcasts once a week. Thank you for your feedback. I initially thought of creating shorter podcasts scheduled every day of the week. That's why I made daily themes like social Sundays, putting my almost psychology degree to some use and discuss people in general, and stories of my life that involve socially awkward interactions. Media Monday. I'm addicted to creating and consuming all sorts of media. We're talking music, artists, creative, television, film, anime, you name it. Trending Tuesday. Keeping up with the times as uh, someone who lives under a rock and prefers to jump between history and the future, thus forgetting to live in the moment. This is where we cover memes, headlines, and other events in the world. Welcome Wednesday. Taking a break from the comfort zone and having other people on the show. I know we're in a pandemic, but it doesn't mean we can't have virtual guests over, presenting different personalities and what makes them tick. Topic Thursday. I have a wide range of interests that don't necessarily fit into particular themes that I made, so I dedicate this for the different phases I go through. But this can also work for random topics I just want to discuss and fulfill an audience requests on what they want to hear. Fluent Friday, in my pursuit to learn about different languages, or cultures at the very least, we explore just how diverse the human race can be. On the other hand, fluency can also mean mastering something to become next to natural, so I'll also cover different hobbies I'm picking up and learning at the moment. Simple Saturday. Taking it easy and just talk about daily life, the simple pleasures of living minimally, being sustainable, talking about the wonders of nature and the universe, or just fathoming the existence of cats and other creatures. It's actually more work, so I thought I'd just label every episode with the same concept, despite being uploaded weekly on a random day. So in other words, weekly themes. Filming won't even happen on Sunday, so way to mess up the timeline and attempt to cure the quote-unquote perfectionist in me that delayed this project long enough. It sounds extra to include video and I forgot whom to credit because it's been years. <laughs> But I heard another podcaster who discussed blogs or podcast vlogging. But then that won't really embrace the concept of podcasting, at least for me, so I thought I'd just stay oh so mysterious and anonymous by just sharing my voice. Although if you know me in real life, I am far from those adjectives. So who in the world am I? <laughs> my genes are Southeast Asian, but my features are often mistaken for Mediterranean or Caucasian because of my anemic pale skin. I follow the biblical Christian faith of the Iglesia Ni Cristo or Church of Christ. As for my political opinion, I believe in equity and justice. That means addressing solutions for inequality and eventually eradicating an inequality. I could also talk about my moral alignment and MBTI, which are currently neutral good, and INFPT, 
surprisingly. I have evolved from being an INFJ team my whole life, as if I don't already have an existential crisis. <laughs> I'm physically unfit, spiritually developed, emotionally unstable, socially awkward, and intellectually decent. There's always a room for growth somewhere. Boring and irrelevant facts about me are that I'm left-handed, but I can use chopsticks with my right. Speaking of right, I'm a writer <laughs> in all aspects. As a job, as a habit, I'm fond of novels, poetry, music, and ever so often designing small spaces. I like to dress up for fall and winter because it makes me feel good, but the irony is that I live in the geographical center of the equatorial east, so thumbs up to that. I follow multiple geek subcultures, but at that same breath, I'm, I prefer to live a minimal life, so I try to be mindful of my tangible consumerism and engage in digital media instead. So why podcasts? The TLDR is to get my creative juices flowing. <laughs> the detailed explanation is that I've always dreamed to be a voice actor, whether it was to become a late night radio host, early morning newscaster, narrate documentaries, or play animated characters on film, TV, and video games. My voice is somewhat my asset, coupled with my eccentric personality. I'm a musician too, but that's another story. Some of my favorite podcasts are The Minimalists, The Mustards, Matt the Avella, Trash Taste, Pretty Big Deal with Ashley Graham, Off the Pill, Dominix. I know he's a YouTuber, but he posts a lot of episodes that are very podcasty. So, yes, The Boiling Waters, etc. You had a bit there. Yeah, so there are my inspiration. Apart from that, I've got close friends doing it, which I definitely support and will hype up on this channel once I get their go signal. And people encouraging me and my family back in high school and uni, even where I work now, to go ahead and do it because they find my voice suitable for it. Anyway, it's a good platform for me to express myself because I often find myself too quiet in real life because I prefer to absorb and listen or I tend to hold back what I really want to say. Because sometimes people just cut me off or no one gives a hoot. <laughs> but that's cool. I'm not active in social media and more of a lurker myself. But hey, I got an Instagram page if you want to stay connected or not. It's up to you really. I'll start using the hashtag etc. on all my posts for all that SEO and low-key marketing jazz. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel for official uploads or stay tuned. For the distributed versions on mainstream platforms of your choice. For those who can't deal with hour-long episodes, you can check out the time cards and skip to the part you like or subscribe to our second channel. Links to be updated. For highlights. Lastly, you can check out our blogger page where I try my best to transcribe everything I just said or share show notes and maybe create other content I won't necessarily discuss in the podcast. That's my cue. I've reached the end of my thinking capacity. Hmm. Let me know your thoughts and takeaways. In the meantime, till next time. Bye.